So hello, hello, hello and welcome to Gibber86 and another YouTube video. Today it's going to be Predator Hunting Grounds. This is free to play from the 27th to the 29th of March. And um, this is just my thoughts and opinions and showing you around a few of the mechanics involved in the game. And hopefully you'll enjoy the video and we'll get to see if it's worth a purchase or not. So the reason I've included this is the downfall of EA's Battlefront 2 was the inclusion of the loot box system. This purely seems to be for visual items, so for the customizability of your weaponry and look. Um, also it can use in-game credits earned. So it doesn't seem to be as bad as Battlefront 2's because obviously you have to unlock characters that way. This doesn't seem at all. Touch wood. Um, so just showing the loot box system. I definitely think one of the ways that games do grab my attention is by having the customizable factor. Um, I remember the old days when you could just purchase skins through in-game coin earn. This is a pain, but it seems to be the way that most games are going. We're going to look at your character builds. So the more levels you rise up, the more builds you can have. Um, this shows the different weaponry involved. So you've got automatic rifles, you've got sniping rifles as well as special as your primary weapons. And we're just going to have a quick look through. So you can see um, as well as the weaponry is customizable, your look, your outfits are. A lot of cool looks, nice little gimmicks, throwbacks to the films. I think we can all remember the cowboy hat. So we're just having a look through. Get to see some of the weapons that you can unlock later down the line. Obviously this all may change, this is just the demo version of the game. I'm guessing by the feedback that they're receiving, they may change a few things. Um, but this isn't an alpha or a beta, this is a demo purely before the game's released. So you may not see the sort of changes that you want. But at least you get to uh, customise your character, which for me is a great part of the game having your character look different from others is always a bonus so it's not just cosmetic items that can be uh, changed around you can swap your loadout and your layout so you can have things like syringes you can have ammo packs as long as you unlock them as you level up your character um, as well as the weapons I just wanted to see and see what weapons were available. Um, I got to use some of them in game. SMG. I don't know if they improve. I hope the handling of the weapons improve as you level up your character because at the beginning it is absolutely shocking. So along with uh, your appearance and layout you can also change your class. There's Assault Class, Recon, Scout and Support not be able to go into these um, looking at the descriptions um, they're all gonna have the pros and cons but just wanted to show you that you were able to have different classes and see that there's different avenues to go down so here we are we get to see Predator and get to see some of the loadouts available and um, we don't get to see much because I've not managed to play as Predator just yet um, unfortunately it is a random basis and in the seven games I have played I have not managed to get Predator just yet I don't know if that's because I'm part of a party and there's more than one character but yeah it's not been the greatest I have selected my preference for Predator most times still don't get it but it's always good to see what's available what different masks what different customizations you can have um, because you know this is from the same makers of Friday the 13th so a lot is going to be on those 
eliminations, those graphic killing, and you want to be able to tell your Predator apart from everyone else's Predator at the end of the day. Graphically, it looks very nice in the menu section. I just want to get that out there. It looks very nice in the menu section. Gameplay wise, you are going to see it is extremely lacking. Disappointed to say, especially when the company that makes it, it makes enjoyable games like Friday the 13th, where the gameplay makes up for the poor graphics. This time, it's definitely going to need some updates, it's going to need some improvements. But it's nice to see the customizations there as well for Predator. You can have male or female, as well as a few pros and cons, as well as, you know, a few perks. So we get into the gameplay and you get to choose between the team where you are going to uh, come in. You are inserted by Chopper into the jungle which is a very nice uh, piece of the game. Um, it looks nice, the little clip that you have, hopefully we're going to see it now. You also get to see your character and that of the squad. That's where the customization comes into play. Just to get that little bit of ownership. The earlier on, the lower the levels, everyone looks the same. The more you get into the game, obviously that's when that uniqueness comes into play. Here it is gameplay wise. Um, and we're looking at the mechanics behind it. It feels very sluggish, I'm not going to lie, I've played a lot of first person shooters and it feels very Call of Duty from 5-10 years ago. It's not something that I would expect from a multiplayer in 2020 and that feels horrible to say because I know so many developers have worked hard on this and the premise of the game is absolutely brilliant but the mechanics behind the shooting just feels clunky. It it's horrible. It's, it's really bad. Um, I'm, I'm gonna mess around with the controller settings to see if it can get a lot smoother. But just look wise, feel wise, it just feels lacking. So the idea is you have different random objectives in the game. Depending on those objectives, depends where you head to on the map. You work together as a team of four. Not only is there a predator out there, you also have NPCs. NPCs are quite hard hitting um, and then will ruin your objectives. They're not only after you, they will go for predator. But I can see someone's down, this is it, look at that. First dose, look at the blood. But it, if you can just see him, he just looks clunky everywhere. So I've got to pick up my friend, oh no and get absolutely done. No stopping power in the automatic rifle whatsoever. The Predator is what the Predator is in the films. You are not Arnold Schwarzenegger. You are not going to be taking on the Predator one by one. It needs to be worked together as a team. You need a lot of firepower and effort. Is there promise for the game? Yes there is. If you play with a group it is going to be absolutely brilliant going to be fun to play you're going to forget about the graphics and the clunkiness and enjoy playing as a group on your own joining random games it's not going to blow you away unfortunately the animations the cutscenes are really nice they're really well put together but is it enough to save the game at the moment not really this is just to show that you can take the Predator out. Me and Hicks are there standing over the body, waiting for the extraction of the Predator. And that's it. Um, unfortunately, I wish it was a lot better game-wise. So thank you guys. Check me out on social media and hopefully see you soon.